I do wish that there was some sort of algorithm um, to filter out ridiculous people and trolls who go around from business to business to business just pretty much talking shit. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jazz. I am chilling at home right now. As you can see, I'm on my couch. I just wanted to be comfortable. But I'm gonna try to keep the energy up for you because I know that's what the YouTube community loves. Anyway, if it's your first time passing through, uh, my name's Jazz. I'm a six-figure entrepreneur um, with multiple streams of income and that's what I come on here to talk to you guys all about. Everybody wants to be an entrepreneur. Everybody's curious. How did you do it? How did you get started? Um, so regardless of what uh, field you're in, I try to just share little tidbits of things that I know. I do have two brick and mortar businesses, a uh, lash training business, and I also sell products on Amazon. I have a private label uh, lash products that I sell in retail in my salon as well as on Amazon. So those are the things that I do to make money. Those are the things that make me a six-figure businesswoman. And I didn't have any money to start out. I didn't have any capital. I didn't have parents helping me. I didn't have a boyfriend, you know, uh, floating me a few bucks. I really literally did this from scratch. And so these videos are just everything I could possibly think of to share with people that I didn't know in the beginning that I want you guys to know and learn from and grow from. So today we're talking about Yelp scams and we're talking about why you don't need paid advertisements with Yelp. When you register a new business, Yelp is going to come for you and they're going to come for you as like um, posing as a friend. It is true that one of the first things you should do when you establish a brick and mortar business, whether it's a bakery, whether it's a boutique, whether it's a shoe store or a car wash, you want to have a presence on Yelp because Yelp is your connector to the community at large. Yelp's gonna call you up within a few weeks of opening your business and try to sell you paid advertising packages. To keep it very simple for you, don't sign up for their paid packages. I'm going to tell you how you can do this yourself. You don't need to sign up for one of their monthly contracts. You don't need to spend four, five, six, seven hundred dollars a month with them. The funny thing about Yelp is they fancy themselves like a partner of your business. They feel that because they own the platform where so many people participate and leave reviews, that in some way that makes them like have part ownership in your business. That's nonsense. What they're gonna do is they're gonna call you up and they're gonna say that they're gonna hype your business and promote your business to everybody in the area above all the other similar business, above all the competition in your area. What they don't tell you is that they've made this very same phone call to every other business in your area, including your competition. So tell me Yelp, how is it that you're gonna offer top billing to me and all of my competitors? You can't possibly sell the same piece of real estate to every single business. It just doesn't make any sense. So look out for that. You do wanna engage on the Yelp platform. The more positive reviews you can get, the better. I say start with friends and family, ask them to leave you a review. This will build excitement on your page. This will add credibility to your page when passersby come to look and see what your business is all about, or maybe they're finding out you're there for the very first time. If it sounds like I'm going a little bit back and forth, like, yeah, you should use the platform, but wait, don't do this and don't do that. It's because it is a little bit tricky to navigate. You do need Yelp. Yelp was critical in me building my business. I'll say that flat out. I, I benefited so much from using Yelp. And this is coming from a person who didn't really uh, do a ton of social media advertising. So Yelp is the shit. But you wanna get organic reviews and you wanna get as many as possible because guess what? Even when you have a lot of real positive reviews, the algorithm is going to delete some of them because it believes that they are fake. If you have clients that don't use Yelp very often, if you have clients that haven't used it in a year or have only ever left two reviews, it's very possible that the system is going to delete those reviews and hide them and basically make them null and void so that no one can even see them. I had accumulated so many positive reviews in I think the one to two years that I was in business. Now I had about 60 five star reviews, but I had all these good reviews and Yelp was hiding like, I would say like 30 to 40% of my reviews. Like it was crazy. Crazy and I was really confused. I was especially confused when I kept getting these extremely um, aggressive sales calls of 
Yelp representatives calling me and asking me to pay for advertising. So to be fair, the first couple of times I got this type of phone call, I was very open to it. I was very receptive to hearing what they had to say and Lord, do they have a lot to say. I let them finish their pitch and when they got to the part about it being seven or $800, I said, you know what? Um, that really just doesn't fit into my budget right now, but thank you so much. After that, they continue to call and call and call and pressure you. And I truly am making this video from, from one business owner to another newbie business owner that I just want people to know that they don't need to sign up for that. When I was engaging with the platform in an organic way, right, having real customers leave real reviews, and those reviews were being hidden at alarmingly high rates. And that's when I said to the sales lady, I said, you know, if you can help me recover these hidden reviews, maybe I'll consider advertising with you guys. But at this point in time, it doesn't make any sense to me to pay you to um, boost my, my score or my perceived popularity on the platform if you guys are hiding the actual activity that's really happening. And you know, of course, they're just going to tell you that it's out of their hands and they're helpless and they can't do anything about the algorithm. Well, then, you know, I can't do anything about your uh, sales pitch. Sorry. What you can do is go onto the Yelp app go into ads and you can create your own ad spend. It doesn't have to be any exorbitant amount. You can do $300, you can do $10 a day for seven days. This is something you can do all on your own. It's all in the app. You just go down to the bottom and again, go to Yelp ads and make sure to unselect some of the things that they have auto selected for you that are attempts to upsell you more things that you don't need, such as like profile boost and just different things like that. A little goes a long way on Yelp, so if you are sm spending small amounts of money advertising, I do believe that you would see some uh, uptick in calls and clicks. Again, I have such a love-hate relationship with this platform because it's done so much for my business, but it's just the sales department that I have a hard time sort of understanding where they're coming from. They do periodically offer freebies. They'll offer $300 to uh, new Yelp users. They'll offer $300 in ad spend uh, later on down uh, the line, maybe six months or a year later, they'll continuously make these offers. Definitely take advantage of those offers, but be vigilant. Make sure that you use the offer up into the amount that is credited to you and then shut it off. If you don't shut it off, they can basically say that you got an exorbitant amount of clicks and charge you for it and you really have no uh, way of verifying that and it isn't based on on sales or booked appointments it's simply based on what their software says was clicked so use the freebies and then shut it off cancel culture it is good to monitor your traffic to see the flow of people coming in you can find out what your season is are you tend to be more busier in spring do you get an uptick in summertime um, do you get slower in the winter time all of these different things are things that you can monitor um, with the Yelp analytics, and so that's a pretty helpful tool. My last little peeve with Yelp is simply the fact that anybody can go onto the platform and leave a bad review about anyone. We read them all the time, right? Uh, whether it's your favorite restaurant or a nail shop or whatever it is. Um, anybody having a bad day can sort of be like, yeah, and then Susie didn't even acknowledge me when I walked in, and, and then, you know, they were, rude to me when I asked for a fork and you know sometimes this is helpful information but sometimes you know people are just having a bad day and it's like you have to wonder if um, you know they're really all that entitled to have this much you know real estate on your Yelp page on your uh, business page um, simply because they felt a way about something and so that's obviously something that the more successful you become that you're going to have to deal with I think it's just the cost of doing business if you are doing your part and you're delivering great service the good is always gonna outweigh the bad talking trash about a business and then you know wanting to be able to still frequent that business again and again and again it's kind of silly long story short if you are a new business owner I definitely recommend that you engage with Yelp and try to use it as much as possible. Be ready for extremely aggressive, sometimes harassing phone calls from Yelp salespeople. Be ready and be firm when you simply tell them no thank you because as you now know, you can create these ads at your own leisure, at your own price point, all in the app. You really don't need to sign any type of contract. 
or engage with their high pressure sale tactics. So I hope this helps you guys in your businesses. I hope you continue to thrive and grow. I would really appreciate if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I am trying to grow yet another business and I would appreciate your support. As always, see you in the next video.